Hi math class, today we're going to be talking about number grid puzzles and let's just review looking at this number chart. Um, we have the numbers going, um, we're just going to start here in the positives 1 to 110 and a number grid puzzle will look something like this where we will have just a portion of this grid over here to the side and so your job is going to be to fill in these blank spots. So what I'm going to show you how to do today is, is if you locate the 48 here on the number grid, if you circle the 48, then your job is, is to look at what number is in above the 48 here on the chart and what number is below the 48. So as I look here at my chart, I see that above the 48 is 38. And so that's what I would write right here. Let's write 38. And then below it is 58. And that's what I would write here. And my question to you is, is what did you notice about these numbers? Do you see a pattern that is following? I'm going to try to point something out to you here. If you see this is a 4, and then you have a 3, and 2, a 1, and you come down below, we have 5, 6, 7. But if you notice, the digit in the 1's place is remaining the same. It's always 8. Do you notice that pattern? And then if you look here, we're going down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So are you noticing that it increases by 10, 38, 48, 58? Okay, let's look at another example of a number grid. Okay, now we've got another number grid puzzle that we are going to work. And in this situation, I'm going to show you, you're going to get to practice these if you want in your everyday math um, site. If you click here, you can pull up a 10 block, a uh, base 10 block tools here that you can use if you need help in um, figuring it out. And click here if you would like to use a number grid to kind of help you with this assignment. So let's see if we get the number grid pulled up. Going to... There we go. Pull it on over like that. Okay. So now I have my number grid here and I'm going to find my number 27. So I come over here and I look to see where 27 is. I'm going to circle 27 and now I'm going to start with, you could start with either the side numbers or you can go above it. So I'm going to look up above and I see the number 17. And if I'm thinking about the one I just did earlier, it had a pattern where in the ones place there was always a 7 or there was always an 8 and here let's see does that same pattern follow 7 7 7 7 7 7 do you see that okay well, I wonder if this also is true for here above the 2 is a 1 below the 2 there is a 3 okay so then if you look here we go down we've got 37 and we have 47. And then I'm coming back over here to look at the numbers to the side of the 27. And we have 26. And what comes after 27? 28. So that's how you fill out a number grid puzzle. OK, let's go to this next puzzle and see if we can figure it out. I am going to pull up another number grid hundreds chart here we to help us. 
Maybe. Okay, we're back and here is our number grid. So we can use that to help us answer these um, problems. I'm going to lower this down. Okay. All right. So now we're going to find the 72 here in our number grid. So I'm looking for 72 and here it is. And now, um, Now I'm going to look to the right and see what number comes after 72. And I see 73, so you would write 73. And then I look past the 73 and I see 74. And if you notice, the ones digits continue, the ones place value continues to increase as we go forward. Now looking below the 72, what do you notice? See an 82. So did it jump? Which, which place value jumped? It looks like the tens place value jumped, didn't, and it increased. And then what would be the next one? If we follow this pattern, we have seven, eight, nine, and then the two. So if you, I would say try to do these puzzles first without looking maybe at your number grid and then use your number grid to check your work. And as you're working through the puzzles, make sure you, you come down here and you click this, um, the circle with the arrow in it, and that is saving your work so we can look at it later. Let's go to screen three. Here in screen three, we have another number grid puzzle to, to solve. And if you would like to use a number grid to help you, you just click right here and then you pull over, click this symbol, and then you should be able to pull that in. Well, I am not having much luck with that. So you can try it on your own without the number grid puzzle, and I think you'll be able to do that. But go ahead and try screens three and screen four um, on your own. And this is another one where it is grayed out, and you will not use the grayed out boxes. You will only put your numbers in that are in the white boxes. So here we'll pull in the number grid again. I'm going to hopefully get it to work. Maybe. But let's go ahead and attempt it without it. Um, so if we're following the pattern, if we're going to go up or down, it seems to jump 10, either. Um, plus or minus. So what would be the 10 above the 48? It would be 38. Okay. And what would be the 10 below the, the 48, which would be 58. Okay. And then when we're going from right to left, it is either increasing or decreasing by one. So let's see here. What comes before 38? That would be 37. And before 37 would be 36. And if we're going down one, that's jumping 10. So this would be 46, but we don't need to write 46. But what we do need is to write uh, a number in the white box. And this one would be 56. And I can even see if I'm right and test myself just by looking. If I go across, this is 56. What would go here? 57 and then 58. And so you can finish the rest um, on your own. Don't forget to, to click here to save your work so that we can check to see if your work is good. And then 
I'm going to go out of this I'm going to go out of this section and I would like for you to do the number grid puzzles too on your own and then I would like for you to go on to the next slide and I would like you to complete the math boxes on your own as well today. We'll click on here, let you look to see real quick what your math boxes will look like um, and you will have six questions to answer and as you answer each of these questions please make sure you click right here to save your work so that all of the work you've done I will be able to see and check. Alright, uh, good luck class and um, I know you will do well.